Hey everyone, Hamster here. Uh, I got an arcade machine here I'm working on. A good old fashioned Cubert. Uh, someone stole the chassis out of the thing, but uh, not worried about that right this second. First, you get the board up. First, I get the board up and running, and uh, it's not working. Uh, some of you that were in my uh, game warp uh, panel, I talked about checking the clock, checking the watchdog, and basic diagnosis to make sure that that's what the machine's wrong with the machine. I did check the clock. Clock's working fine. However, watchdog is uh, barking left and right, as you can see from the scope there. It just uh, keeps uh, every, I think it's every, uh, let me just change this. Nope, I get the wrong thing on there. It's like every 5 hertz it's uh, hitting the reset and it just keeps resetting the processor. It's not changing the graphics on the screen. I do have an mo external monitor hooked up. It's not changing the graphics. So there might be something still wrong in the graphics section, but right now i got to get the processor section up and running before we can go anywhere further down the line. So, uh... I look, pull out the schematics, like I said, or like I said, during the thing. It's good to always have the have the schematics available. Um, as you can see, here's the processor. Here's the clock watchdog circuit that resets the processor. Here's the input from the watchdog timer. The watchdog timer right there. And uh, if I pull this clear low, if I pulse that, the watchdog timer does not reset, and the uh, units, the processor doesn't reset. Still doesn't work, but there's still something wrong with it. But Trace this input down, comes to this uh, output port selector 74 loss 138. Which, uh, if I had one, I would use my uh, HP uh, logic comparator, but I do not have any 74 LS 138s. And this machine actually has a, a numerous a bunch of them, so I might actually order a couple of them, have them in stock. Um, but I went ahead and probed it with a probed it with the uh, the logic probe, I noticed all the outputs are all high, uh, regardless of what the inputs were doing. The inputs were being tripped. So I went and pulled out the uh, logic analyzer, so all these cables are. And you can see the uh, logic analyzer up there running away. You can see all the inputs the uh, address 0, 1, 2, A, enable 1, 2, and 3. Now, what you see is every, now, every five seconds it's uh, going quiet. Or, now it's not, but, well, right there. It's uh, that's the watchdog timer resetting the processor and it's going over. So the processor's working, but it's not working anywhere the way it's supposed to. Now this output port selector also looks like it controls some uh, some output chips here, which uh, I'm not too sure what they go to. I haven't really looked at them. Um, they look like they tie into the inputs. Possibly they go all over. Yeah, they tie into the uh, control inputs. Also ties into looks like some I/O selection, so RAM I/O. So we probably got some other issues. So this chip's probably bad. I'm gonna go order some 138s, get that replaced, and then uh, hopefully uh, get a Cubert working. If not, I guess I'll be making another video with uh, more problems. So uh, that's it for now, 73, see ya.